the black hole concept changes a little bit. It's not your typical thoughts about black holes, which are things that are sucking everything in its path in and nothing will ever come out. In this case, it is a point in which all information of all other points in the universe is present and a certain amount of that information is leaking across the event horizon. You have a certain amount of relationship to it because of spin, because of angular momentum and Coriolis effects and centrifugal force, some of the information comes out and that relationship at the Planck level, at the vacuum level, that energy um, is what you think of as mass, as uh, gravity and so on. And so this is a very different picture of the standard black hole. It's almost a different animal. Based on the findings of my early research, I predicted that we were going to find black holes at the center of galaxies. I predicted we were going to find black holes prior to galactic formation, that the black hole is there before anything else, um, which was not the thought of the time. Now we have found black holes at the center of galaxies. We have found that they seem to be there prior to galactic formation. And recently, uh, we have found in this last month of March, uh, new studies have shown that the velocity or the spin rate near the surface of black holes seems to be very, very, very high, very close to the speed of light. And this is what my theory predicted as well. I started to think if the vacuum inside one proton represent all the information in the universe, how is this information being related outside the proton? Because the proton has this little boundary. So the protons start to look a lot more like what we call a black hole than anything else. Meaning if a proton has the whole mass of the universe in it, it definitely obeys the condition of a black hole. Maybe we live in a universe where every point acts like a little black hole depending at each scale because each point has all the information of all other points in the universe.